babies, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are making something I have had a lot of requests for. We are making a natural foaming face wash made with turmeric. Turmeric, turmeric, I did Google it to see if one of those is more correct than the other, and the internet said, do whatever you want, both are equally correct, so I'm just going with the way I've always said it, which is with the R being pronounced. The inspiration for this cherry yellow formulation came from two ingredients that Voyager Soap and Candle sent me. The first ingredient is a very yellow turmeric liquid extract. So this is a standardized extract in a base of propanidiol, which is a liquid humectant, and you just add it to the cool down phase of your product, and that's it. It's very simple. You don't have to worry about any settling or graininess like you would if you were adding just the uh, ground spice. Turmeric is said to have skin soothing benefits and is appreciated by many people as part of an anti-acne skincare routine. As this is a face wash, I wanted it to be quite mild, so I have chosen quite gentle surfactants and kept the active surfactants surfactant matter quite low. The cleansing power of this face wash comes primarily from non-ionic decoglucoside and amphoteric cocomidopropyl betaine. And then for added mildness, I've included a blended ingredient called Lame Soft PO65, which is a combination of cocoglucoside and glycerol oleate. Cocoglucoside is much like decoglucoside, a non-ionic surfactant, and glycerol oleate is a lovely refatting agent that I find really makes surfactant products, especially liquid surfactant products, a lot just easier on the skin. It, it really helps prevent that too clean feel in both like body skin washes and uh, hair washes uh, shampoos. As part of my preparation for this post, I published a encyclopedia entry on this ingredient over at humblebeeandme.com and I have linked to places where you can buy this ingredient in a lot of different countries around the world. So make sure you check that out. And if you have an interest in making especially natural shampoos, I highly recommend picking up a bottle. I'm using GeoGuard Ultra as our natural preservative for this natural foaming face wash. Because GeoGuard Ultra causes the pH of our formulations to boop, 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 go down, and in this particular case go down a little further than I wanted it to, I have also included some L-arginine, which helps bring up the pH. So I learned about this ingredient in my Formula Botanica Diploma in Organic Hair Care formulation, and I have linked to a few places that you can buy it in the blog post. As a side note, if you would like to read my review for my Diploma in Organic Hair Care formulation, or try out some Formula Botanica training, they are offering a free masterclass quite soon. I'll throw a sign up link for that in the description box below. So if you're interested in trying them out for free, it is worth a, a click and a, a sign up. Because this is a facial cleanser and because it uses a natural preservative that has a specific range in which it is effective, if you are changing things in this formulation, and even if you aren't, honestly, it is a really good idea to be checking that pH and making sure that it is appropriate both for your skin and for the preservatives. If you don't have a pH meter or pH strips, making it as written should work out just fine. But if you are swapping out you know, one surfactant for another or really anything else, please make sure that you are set up to check that pH and make sure that it is appropriate so that it is safe for your skin and then also shelf stable, safe for that preservative to be its, its bestest self. If you're looking for more information on that, I have included some hand Andy Danny links in the further reading section over on that blog post linked in the description box below this video. But yeah, that is more than enough chat. Feel like I've been talking forever. Let's go make this face wash. We'll begin by combining the ingredients for our heated water phase. So in this beaker, I already have our preservative, 0.9 grams of GeoGuard Ultra. To that, I'm going to add 12 grams vegetable glycerin, and then give that a stir to disperse the GeoGuard Ultra. So GeoGuard Ultra is water soluble, but quite slowly water soluble, but thankfully it is also uh, heat tolerant. So we are just going to heat it to get it to dissolve. So once the glycerin and GeoGuard Ultra are nicely combined, we're going to add 39.78 grams distilled water. Give that a stir. And then because we are going to be heating this, I'm going to weigh that beaker and note the weight, making sure to note that it also includes the glass stirring rod. And then having this weight will allow us to replace any water lost to evaporation during heating. To heat this through, I'm going to pop it in a water bath. So this is a small saucepan that has about two centimeters or two thirds of an inch 
of uh, just water in the bottom of it. And then I'm going to go heat this over low heat. We just want the water to be sort of steaming hot, but not so hot that it starts to you know, simmer and then toss the beaker around. Uh, and then once we can't see any little white bits in the beaker, we are ready to move on. While we're waiting for our heated water phase to heat through, we can combine the ingredients for our surfactant phase. To start with, you'll need 1.2 grams of Lame Soft PO65. Up next, you'll need 1.8 grams Decal Glucoside. Our last surfactant is 3 grams of Cocomatopropyl Betaine. And then we're also including 0.12 grams of L-Arginine in our surfactant phase. Once that's all in the beaker, stir to combine. Once the GeoGuard Ultra has totally dissolved, you can remove your pan from the heat and then we'll remove our beaker from the water bath. Dry it off there. And so it is really important that the GeoGuard Ultra is completely dissolved because it does impact our pH reading at the end. So I find that it can be easy to think, oh, it's all dissolved when it's sitting in the pan and then you pick it up and give it a stir and you can still see white flecks at the bottom of the beaker. So yeah, make sure you are checking that. Up next, we are going to replace any water that was lost to evaporation. So I'm referring back to that number I wrote down earlier and topping off the beaker to that number with a bit of distilled water. So now we have our water phase and our surfactant phase both mixed up and ready to combine. There's nothing heat sensitive in either of these beakers. So we're just going to add the water to the surfactant phase and gently stir to combine. I'm pouring the water down the side, or sort of down the blade of the spatula so we don't work up too, too much lather. And then I'm just gonna stir, definitely have sort of a honey-like blob of surfactants in there, but it dissolves pretty readily. I am stirring this very gently. I know that with the footage sped up, it looks really enthusiastic, but I promise it's not. I'm moving very slowly and methodically, scraping around the bottom of the beaker, making sure that we don't have any clumps of surfactant anywhere. And once the mixture looks pretty uniform, you know, there's not any big, clumpy, honey-like bits of surfactant paste in there, I'm just going to leave this to finish dissolving and also to cool to room temperature. Once our face wash has fully cooled and is nice and clear, we can incorporate our turmeric extract, check the pH, and, and that is pretty much it. So this is the turmeric extract that we're using. This is a gift from Voyager Soap and Candle. You can see it's a very vibrant orange color. And then once it's added to products and diluted, it's a very sort of characteristic turmeric -y yellow. So we're going to need 1.2 grams of this, which is 2% definitely see that lovely, very happy yellow color coming through. The last thing we need to do before packaging this face wash is checking the pH to make sure that it's in a good range for the preservative and for our skin. So the first step in doing that is making a 10% dilution. If you would like to learn more about this and why we do it, please make sure you're reading the full partner blog post. I have linked to some helpful resources on pH testing there. So I'm weighing about two grams of product into this little dish and then adding enough water to make a 10% dilution. So enough water for a total of 20 grams. We'll check the pH with our pH meter. So first I'm going to rinse it off. Give it a gentle dry off on a clean cloth. Turn it on, tip the bowl and stir the pH meter in the bowl to uh, ensure that the electrode is fully submerged. And then we wait. 4.57, that is great. If you would like more information on pH, you know, what we're looking for, how to adjust it, please read that partner blog post. If we covered all that in this video, it would be extraordinarily long. So I'm just gently rinsing off the pH meter with a bit more clean just distilled water and then we'll pop it back in its storage solution and put it away. Our last step is packaging up the face wash. Now you will need a foamer top bottle for this project. Uh, if you'd like information on modifying the formulation so that you can use a regular pump style uh, dispenser, make sure you're reading that blog post. There's tons of great information in there, but in she goes. So 
for a bit of a use demo. I'll pump some bubbles into my hand. You can see that they are very, very, very yellow. Now I have not had any issues with this staining my towels, but my towels are also not white. They're like a blue and gray. So um, yeah, if you have really white towels, you may want to reduce the concentration of the turmeric extract. And there's information on how to do that in the partner blog post linked in the description box below this video. I do find that this is a gorgeous gentle facial cleanser. It doesn't leave my face feeling dry. It does a great job of taking off you know, foundation and sunscreen and whatnot. I do use a separate oil cleanser to remove eye makeup directly around my eyes, but this is really lovely for everything else. And there we go. So we just made a natural foaming face wash with turmeric. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please make sure you're reading that full partner blog post that's linked in the description box below this video, or just go to humblebeeandme.com and search for the name of this formulation. You'll find a ton of extra great information in there, information on shelf life, substitutions, maybe you want to add something to this to make it smell pretty, uh, you want to scale it up and make a huge batch. There's just, there's tons of great information in the blog post and there always is. So please make sure you are reading that partner post and check out the recommended reading linked in it too. Well, yeah, I think that is enough. So thank you very, very much and I'll see you next time.